What up everybody? Look at this. You guys know exactly what's going down from the title. I don't need to explain this video. You can already see this is the lowest possible settings for Counter-Strike. The MAC-10 doesn't even have a skin, it's just pure black. You can also see I replaced the background with Fuse's Nevermore 2, which is absolutely sick. You should definitely watch it if you haven't seen it. And this still looks super high quality, which is awesome, but then you see this guy. Let's do some Overwatches. If anyone wants a little tutorial on how to replace that menu background, let me know in the comments and I will make like a literally one minute video on it because it's that simple. But let's just Check out CS on the lowest possible graphics settings. Technically, this probably isn't the lowest possible settings because this guy's cheating. I can already see that this guy's cheating, but I am running it in 1080 res, so it does look it does look okay, but the textures still look like they just don't exist. There's just no textures going on. We've got to give everyone the benefit of the doubt, obviously. It has to be... <laughs> look at the player models. It has to be evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to be able to convict this guy. So let's find out if he is cheating. He is missing quite a few shots, to be honest. I absolutely love how the player models look. Oh, he's definitely cheating. Look at the spin. <laughs> look at the crazy lock-on spin. I don't quite understand how he's not getting kills while he's cheating. We'll just give this a couple of rounds, and then we'll just convict this guy, because he's obviously walling. He's obviously got aimbots. And I don't even know if he's got skins. <laughs> I don't even know because the skins on these settings just look terrible. Look at this. How obvious and blatant can you be? That is just mad. He put his crosshair on the guy through the wall before he'd even popped out. And now he's doing exactly the same to the guy on site. I think he really needs to adjust his aimbot settings. You can tell there is an aimbot because it's like... It's like super shaky. But he's definitely messed up all of his settings because... It's not working correctly. Is he going to lock on with the grenade? <laughs> I don't quite know what he's doing. What is this guy doing? He's, is that a next level tactic? You just pull the grenade and then you peek the corner and, and hope they don't notice. Is this where he goes rage spin bot toggle mode? I feel like he is. He's just staring at the floor, giving us an amazing view of all of these high, high quality textures. <laughs> and his aimbot really needs tweaking. Like he is doing cheating badly. This might actually be the worst cheater I've ever seen in Counter-Strike because he's clearly got everything, but he can't even kill people with everything. Let's have a look at his score. What's he on? The suspect, two for one. Making his way back into B-site where the uh, the two remaining CTs are lurking around. I think he doesn't really know whether people are behind walls or whether people are not behind walls because he's literally just scoping at people straight through walls. And even when he's out and there are no walls, look at the player model, look at it. <laughs> even when he's scoping on people and uh, he's not, they're not behind a wall, he doesn't even know whether to shoot or not. Oh, he's getting TK'd a little bit by his team and didn't really do <laughs> Look at the smoke deck. <laughs> it's just pure grey. And now he is trying to aimbot people through smoke. This is probably the best chance he's got because his aimbot absolutely sucks. It sucks so bad. If he's going to cheat, he might as well cheat hard. Oh, poor guys that he's cheating against as well. He is so bad and yet he's getting kills. So I feel like if he was actually using these cheats at a decent level, he'd be getting absolutely destroyed and he'd have to rage toggle on. But I've had enough of this case. He's very obviously walling. He's very obviously aimbotting. Uh, and what's going to happen here? Uh, boom! I <laughs> see his aimbot is so bad. I've had enough. I've had enough. Okay, let's case. I'm going to quickly hop in a game with bots just before we actually get a new case because I want to see how bad these graphics really are. <laughs> The textures just flick around constantly as well. It's very distracting. I don't know if I could play like this. He's just a big blob. I think if I turn the resolution to the lowest it could possibly go, it would be even worse. All right, we got our second case. Let's do it. And we got another Dust 2 case, but this time we're starting... <laughs> I can't get over these graphics. They're so good. This time we are starting off on round 23. The suspect here, 18 for 15. Um, last time we started from round one. I, I prefer starting from round one because it gives us a little bit more information to work with instead of just jumping right into the middle here. The suspect working his way onto a site. I haven't seen anything too suspicious yet. Maybe when we very first started the case at long, he kind of did look at him a little bit through the wall um, before he came out and peeked, but that could have been some uh, just some decent pre-aim. Who knows? But he knows there's one on short here. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? 
what was that? That was really weird. That was like a demo glitch, or that was like some kind of uh, aimbot. I have no idea. I'm guessing we don't have that many rounds left since we're on round 24, unless the CTs make a massive comeback. I hope they do, so we get a little bit more to work with. The suspect's flashes are atrocious, and... Doesn't look like he has aimbot, but he potentially has walls, and he's just trying to play it. Ooh. Hey, that could have been legit. It could have been legit. This one's a bit more of a difficult case. Bomb down now on the B site. Suspect hanging around the mid area. And he can hear the drop. He can hear him there at mid. So uh, it's obvious. I wouldn't say it's walls. And he can see the end of his orb. He's going for the knife. He's going for the knife. Can he do it? Is he going to fail? Come on. Get it. Get it. Get the knife. Yeah. Suspect. Let's go. I like this guy. But... He might be walling. He might be walling. Some of his movement does look uh, a little bit dodgy. Just a little bit. No picks through the mid doors, though. Our suspect has the bomb. He's weighing around the mid area, and he misses the shot on the CT at mid. Maybe I was right with a big CT comeback. He, it's not as if he's like pre-firing th them through the door or anything. If he is cheating, I'd say he's pretty good at hiding it so far. One in lower. I think he heard him, that's why he turned around. I didn't personally hear him, but I'm pretty bad at the whole sound thing. He's waiting for him. He's waiting for him, but he's not coming. He is not coming. He's just staying there and hoping that they push from lower, which is a very wise choice. Well done, whoever that is. Maybe there's a cheater on the other team as well. Maybe he's the cheater on the other team here, just waiting because he knows the suspect is around the corner with the Zeus. And that might cause the suspect the rage toggle. That did look a bit strange. <laughs> look at the Glock. <laughs> look at the Glock. <laughs> that is amazing. What skin is that, guys? Guess the skin. Because I have no idea what that is. Suspect making his way into B, switching to burst mode and then failing. Suspect ramboing it. He's going by himself to B and his whole team are going the complete opposite way. Maybe he got reported for griefing because he's just like not working as a team. But they are meeting up here in the middle. A few picks going off either side down to a 4v4. He's going to get pushed from the guy at lower this time. Oh, he turns around. That leads me to believe that he's not cheating. Either he's not cheating or he's really good at faking out the overwatch. Did the standard check. If he was cheating and saw him with wolves, I feel like he would hold that check for a little bit longer. And uh, I can't see any evidence of aimbot. Is this going to be a 15-15? This is the round that he would toggle. If there's any around, this is it. So let's find out. Come on. He's been naded hard. Oh, and he's down. I can't convict him from that. There's no way I can convict him. I don't think he was cheating, but he was playing it very cool indeed. So I'm going to go insufficient evidence. Insufficient evidence. I've got two new items in my inventory. One of them is the driver gloves Imperial Plate. And wow. Don't they look high quality, guys? Look at <laughs> look at that! Wow, I'm really happy. I paid all the money, all the money for this amazing skin. And wow, <laughs> look at the karambit! The karambit lore is purple. I want to look at the factory new contract mistake. Let's. <laughs> what is that? These things can't even handle the glory of the fire serpent. Oh well, my Bayonel Autotronic, it looks great. I want to check out a different map with these settings just while I'm waiting for a new Overwatch case. <laughs> Guys, if you think I should actually play a game with these settings, then let me know in the comments or just leave a like on the video. I'll get the message either way. I love how textureless everything is. It feels like I'm playing CSS again on the lowest settings possible. Let's see if we got a new case. Yes, we do. All right, last and final case. And guess what? It's another dust too. Surprise, surprise. The home of the cheaters. Why is the suspect aiming like there? Right at the beginning of the round. There's no possible way anyone could even be coming there right at the beginning of the round. <laughs> this is a strange, strange behavior here from the suspect. He is on eight for three. There is one in B and he's flashing it just to make sure. Uh, ooh, that's a strange peak though because it's kind of like, oh, what is that? That weird... That weird jump and look at him through the wall thing. Mm. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. I think this guy might be walling. Once again, holding the angle right at the beginning of the round, which is just so pointless. Who takes the <laughs> who takes the silencer off that? I guess he's just trolling his. Okay, I was gonna say he's trolling his team for taking the silencer off, but then his teammate instantly domed him. The suspect is very strange. Very strange here. I feel like he might just be holding this angle really, really early on. <laughs> he got domed from B. That confused me a little bit. There. He might be holding that angle really, really early on, despite no one, you know, no one could possibly be there for like ten seconds or so, just so he can see. 
like everything, see all the all the map and get all the information of where people are going without looking too blatant. And there's one pushing up on the long angle. That is, uh, yeah, that's dodgy. That's dodgy. That was pretty suspicious. We can't convict him of just one thing though. Oh, is there a cheater on the other team as well? Because he didn't even cross the doors whatsoever and he got domed in the head through the door while he was crouching. That was very strange. Is he going to go like full spin bot toggle mode? Because Snake on the other team, pretty sure Snake's cheating. So let's find out. It might be a, a cheater hack versus hack scenario here. <laughs> what was that other bullet in the lower? And that's it. That's all we get. Oh no, that was such a difficult case to end with. There's going to be a lot of mixed opinions in the comments below on this one. I know that already. But I kind of thought he was cheating, to be honest. I kind of thought he was cheating. So I'm going to say that he was at least walling. Um, I think he was probably aiming as well. But I didn't get to see enough to actually convict him. And I don't really have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt of vision assistance, but just the way he was playing and everything like that, I genuinely think he, he was. Please leave a like on the video if you want me to actually play with these settings. I think that would be hilarious. And the blob man from the menu wishes you a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace, peace.